what happened to Jeff? Eh? Jeff, what happened? Jeff, come back. Jeff Ochaya, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I don't take you for granted. And if you're watching me for the first time on this YouTube channel, welcome. I'm Jeff Ochaya from Uganda in Africa. Welcome to today's video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. This video is kind of a reaction, but kind of not. If you're a fan of African vlogs, then you have probably noticed that a lot of travel YouTubers have been going to Jamaica of recently. Like uh, those of Wodemaya was in Jamaica, uh, Miss Trudy was in Jamaica, uh, Dimwango was in Jamaica. That has been a growing trend of recent. That brought a question and a lot of people have been asking, why is it that African travel vloggers are all going to Jamaica? And that was a discussion uh, in one of the subreddits that I was in by Jamaican. Uh, they were asking, are Africans really obsessed with Jamaica? So that's what I want to answer in this video. For context, I've never been to Jamaica. I'm a Ugandan from Africa, and this is a small town, Kitgum town. That's where I come from. It is in the northern part of Uganda, and it's a beautiful place. And I'm trekking this hill right here as I record this video. Uh, yeah, that is up here. I wanted to react to this not as a criticism because I think uh, African travel vloggers visiting Jamaica is, is a good thing and it's something I'm fond of because they made me fall in love with Jamaica. Yes, Hello. Jeff, how are you doing? Fine. So I've been you. you know the Tingo? You know the Wagwan Tingo? I know the Wagwan Tingo. <laughs> I love Jamaica. <laughs> so one of the reasons why Africans are African travel vloggers are so much in love with Jamaica is the language. Something we have grown familiar with because of uh, the culture of Jamaica that has penetrated uh, parts of our world. Like when I say that, I mean the ghetto world. Like when you go to any African country, there are certain places that are called ghetto especially the slums and all those areas and people who, are, who love music, the reggae music and stuff, those guys get so much deep into trying to, to speak English in the way that Jamaicans speak. That brings me to the second point. From Africa, we grew up loving uh, reggae songs, the Bob Marley and all those freedom fighter kind of songs. So. Another reason why uh, African travel vloggers are so much going to this Jamaica, Jamaica of recent, uh, is because of uh, the similarities in culture. Like African travelers, when we're traveling, it's usually hard when you go to certain countries where you're not so much welcome. You go to places like uh, when you go to Portugal, you go to Mexico, you go to Bali, your colors the color of your skin stands out uh, because of that difference you know so much you don't feel so much accepted like automatically uh, not so much in a way that you feel when you go to a place like Jamaica like when those of Dimwango those of uh, Wodemaya are in Jamaica they just blend in easily because of their color of, the color of their skin their culture the way they behave because Africa and Jamaica have a lot of things in common and that it is, is the reason why traveling Jamaica is easier for African travel vloggers uh, the culture of course Jamaica have roots in Africa and the culture of Jamaica and that of Africa have a lot of similarities and Jamaican culture is so much rich in such a way that it's unique and if you create content for uh, Jamaica it gets a lot of views because the world needs something unique that's one thing that makes travel vloggers from Africa love to go to places like Jamaica uh, one of the biggest reason of course is content all the factors that I've told you uh, before
so guys i had to pause a little bit because of uh, sound that was being played the music that was being played i think i would get copyright strike if i don't so that's why i did it so i'm saying the re one of the reasons why african travel vloggers are going to jamaica is because of content because of content i, I won't lie it's because of content so if you see all the factors that I've told you of prior, they all bring good contents. The culture, the similarities we have with Jamaican, uh, of course, with other factors like uh, people being so much welcoming when you go to Jamaica, especially to fellow Africans, uh, that makes it so good for content. And that's why African travel vloggers can't get enough of it. Like anywhere you go in Jamaica, Kingston, anywhere you will get to make a lot of contents that are very unique and blends in very well with the type of contents that we make in Africa. And that makes it so much easier when you're traveling. Of course, like I said, uh, the Jamaican people, themselves are so much welcoming they so much love africa like you go on the street and when you say you're from africa like they show love and that's that's that makes it easy like when you're a travel vlogger one of the things that you want is you may you want interaction in your videos like when you're making cultural contents or you're making uh, social contents and if you get out there and you start speaking to people, even if you're holding cameras, uh, they, they respond. And that makes it makes your work a lot easier. This is the thing about travel vlogging. When you're traveling, you go to a place where people get views. That's, that's, that's the most important thing. Because when you're traveling, you want your videos to make views. When you get the views, then youtube pays you money for the views that you get and that's why a place like jamaica get a lot of travel vloggers going there even not not only african travel vloggers a lot of travel vloggers are going there because you get a lot of views when you go to jamaica i think because of all those factors that i've t told you before contributes to africa uh, to jamaica being very interesting when you make contents there the contents also tend to resonate and tend to pick a lot of interest and people get a lot of views so guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel uh let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and this format of video and even this topic as of itself so are you a fan of African travel vloggers, have you been watching the trend of them going to Jamaica? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section. 